boop. Here. Knew just what it was. The whole dip and gave it back, boop. Yeah. 9-11, no malice, baby. But no violence, baby. My d- got callous, baby. My bare knuckles got talent, baby. I'm all in the wind with it. On deuce line, I've been with it. She too fine, I've been. Crashed two times, I limo tenant my new ride. I'm riding with the... 12 at not put me over. over. Championship going dumb. Whoa, Nothing to whoa, something whoa. I won. Whoa. Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, yeah. yeah. Get out the way, get the way, by my way, yeah. yeah. You either with me or against me, though. <laughs> Yeah. From the back of the uh, I got a girl. Yeah. She go to battle. LED load the tech. Yeah. I go in back of the uh, They all from that. Yeah. My diamonds, they all look at. This, that. Yeah. I go to bed on bed. Uh, I got the demon on flat. Yeah. I got a in the back. Uh, Haters, they talk to chat. Yeah. They step on the rock, the man. Uh, I'm a K back. Uh, honey K. Uh, I found out where you lay at. Uh, uh, I got the lurking and, and they hate cats. I can stay fat. Huh? I got the the from the block and they scamming. They know what bank said. Huh? I got the the work on the avenue. They know what tank said. Huh? I got the the live in the mansion. They know what said. Huh? I got some that's up in the jail and they know what said. Huh? I came on top of the building again. Yeah, my we had a plan. We came on top of the building again. Yeah, my we never ran. Down there, thought thought that I had a fan. Oh, hey. Any. Ten o'clock, got a flight out. Yeah, I'm going back out to Japan. I got two Billy truck and a bitch to door with a land. Bruce Wayne, I'm Batman. Batman, I'm best man. I got my best man. I got my. I go to hotels when I step out. Yeah, your boy got a doorman. I go to nightclubs with a. Yeah, they call me the madman. I ain't no madman. I just go crazy, man. Go hard, can't face, man. Choppers, rip wasteland. This what happen when you give it a taste life, then you give it a wasteland. This what happen when you give it a fake life, then them the ape in. I live with birds come out. Sounds like I see it in there. Hey, I'm on your turf again. This, that, yeah. from the back of the... Uh, I got a girl. Yeah. She go to battle. Huh? Yeah. Birds come out, sounds like I see it's in there. Hey, I'm on your turf again. This, that, yeah. from the back of it. Uh, I got a girl, yeah. she go to battle. Sauce. Good drip. But she love you, don't cut your 
Yeah, Reynolds yeah, Vinci yeah. is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. LED, look at the lights. We the ones that don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. With, with me, me, boy. Keep your hands in your fingers. Yo, ears with a Get back, watch you turn to a singer. Get you fighting like the Jerry Springer. All of my Zip the back that like a popo. No do these they popo. Had a G-Rag and truck turned to Rojo. Find a cave for two woods and they won't ride down the Soho. One's black and the other was Mexican. Had a like a polo. Younger than you with a Maybach. Younger than you with a Bentley. Finna got in the gently. Angry and friends with these when I was down, I'd so had sympathy. Facts. But that's how I go when you broke. Facts. Now I'm out like Mr. Cole. This do my own. Not gonna lie, some of these new clones. Then she asked for a loan. Had to laugh, then I told her get gone. Gonna get that shit me on. And up, give me not a thing. So I spend 90k on my reign. You can see all my pain in my watch. Got my ex down in. Walking around with my hand on my. Cause I'm popping and I know you're not. And I know you see just how I'm living. You're not happy with life, so you. Rockin' Reeboks on treetops, getting guap, got a big band, like Sasquatch. Every time you see it, what a b**** know it's talking about. I got that chicken to golf. A lot of these b**** look lost. They broke, they think it's my fault. No call. I want that b**** caught. I'm dripping, I'm stuck with the sauce. But she love you, don't cut your b**** yeah, yeah, Reynolds, Vinci yeah, is white. Limited Louis, that's light. Rape in the city, that's light. LED, look at the lights. We the ones that don't like. But you look too light. Why even play with your life? Bank account looking like yikes. The hops on IG all the time. I dare them go live. Waggle steak, I die. 8 ounce, 255. I can't get fuck you with to groovy you me. If I had love for me, I would have tried to nick you. Jerry, I can't go let you slide. Dory ain't gonna let you slide. You King of the city, I don't want to be a big fish in a small pond. Trying to get across that water. I need fans in Vietnam. If you got a hustle, but you can't stick to the ground, you wasting your time. I need a double of verse. I do it before it. FaceTime before I get to the club. Look at the line. Money ain't changed my heart, but I'm smarter. I guess it changed my mind. And I take care of my in prison. Don't think it's safe inside. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Let's go, hey, let's go, come on. Hey, hey, reset, hey, ladies, hey. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Demarcus Walker there on the stop. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Rodgers to throw on second down. This is caught by Robinson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. The reception good for seven. It's third down. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Defense had a chance to get off the field here on the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get... You know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how good third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. Five yards on the catch there brings up second down. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the second down. On second down, McCaffrey, and he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. 
reset. Hey, easy. Three Back to the ground on first. It's McCaffrey. And he'll get it across midfield and down into Cardinal territory. Dre Kirkpatrick, the cornerback, up to make the stop. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On second down, here's Rodgers. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. Three catches for him now in this first quarter of the Super Bowl. How about to start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script, however, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by John Johnson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football Been set to take the field here as they have the football in the final minute of this first quarter. And now out come the Jets. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. They go play action here on first down. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him open field to the flat that's complete to his running back he'll get this to the 40 sweet little juke in there got him some extra yardage give him six on the play and that'll make this a second down not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice gains but we're also seeing the confidence rise not just for the guy who caught it but the guy throwing it as well and these can these back-to-back -back catches here out of the backfield that can set something up downfield in a later sequence right a lot of the time it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage so to your point show this swing pass show this check down maybe later on you heave one deep when you catch him close to the spot Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Rodgers now on first down. Oh, he got position on him, and he pulls it in. The jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Well, this is how thoughts of that interception on the last drive you come out and start this one four for four and watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy i played with way back hey, when who hey, told me i don't care if i throw 10 interceptions in a row i'm gonna stay confident and keep playing it i just figured there's something wrong with the football even with the good move he showed he'll be brought down short of the 15. it's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down what a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter but can come in and keep drives going
Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. And left side here, it's Graham. This carry with the extra effort is going to get him stopped up just shy of the 10. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. They'll let the quarterback try and pick it up. This is Anthony Sherman trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play, and that's going to lead him to fourth down. Gets it to the eight. So give him the first down. First and goal after a pickup of four. And the decision to go for it pays off. Hey, fourth and inches. Why let your quarterback try and sneak for it? Give it to the guy who's born to fight for those tough yards. It's a fullback dive. And he just makes sure he secures the football and then flies forward to pick up the first down. Now it's Rodgers. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Melvin Ingram in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. Steps away to his left. And this will be caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Jimmy Graham. for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Elliott good on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. And here now the offense heading back out there. Set. Open there, Samara Darbo complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Brissett going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's a perfect 5-for-5 five five here to begin the game. Here we go! Brissett on first down. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. What's the old adage? Be quick, but don't hurry. Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of. Otherwise, he was going to get sacked. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Oh, let's go! On second down, Brissette again. And his pass incomplete. David Njoku was the intended receiver. And it's third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the go. first down, Brandon guess what? Eight. You're likely going to have to. Brissett sets to throw it. He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back to return it, Christian McCaffrey. Oh, 
Uses the spin. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Now Rodgers is caught outright by Graham. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. I know when you got a top tight end like this, you want to get him involved, but when you do, you're hoping for more than that. You certainly are. you got to try and get him some space where he can make a play downfield or at least an opportunity for some rack yardage right that run after catch. Rodgers going to throw. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. Give him three on the play, and just like that, it's third down. And it's a rush to the line right now for the Jets. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. And he finds a man, it's McCaffrey. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Now hold everything here, we're going to get a timeout by the offense. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. From midfield, here's Rodgers. Under pressure here, and down he goes. Sacked back at about the 43-yard line. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Now Rodgers looking to throw on second down. Rashawn Melvin that time able to make the play. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. The Jets on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 16. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And able to find Graham, complete. And they pick up 25 as they convert on third. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. And Elliott puts this one through. So we've come upon halftime here in Super Bowl 53. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight. As we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It has been a remarkable first season in the studio for me. I want to thank you guys so much. As I said it over one final time, for the second half call of Super Bowl 53 to Brandon and Charles in Atlanta. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two, and that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. He's letting it fly for Cooks. This is intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And they have the football and will take over at the 24-yard line. Well, when someone other than the quarterback is throwing the football, it's either beautiful or a disaster, and here it was the latter. Nowhere in between, right? You're <laughs> exactly right. It takes some fortitude to call that type of a play, but when it doesn't work, 
Oh, boy, you wish you had. Fitzgerald bringing it in over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Jets first down. So another snag for Fitzgerald, who in 2015 became the youngest player at age 32 to hit 1,000 receptions. He's piling up some more. Well, the way he's playing the day, it's almost like he's trying to get a second thousand just in one contest. And when they're operating this well and clicking like that, <laughs> well, that's a big reason why they're winning the game. 17 yards for the Jets there as they've got themselves a first down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not called if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, then under pressure here and down he goes. Sack back at about the 43-yard line. The former Jet, Demario Davis, coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Melvin Ingram in there to drop him, and sacks on first and second downs are going to lead to a third and long. And that's his third sack, and that ties a Super Bowl record. Makes me think of my old college teammate, Reggie White. He had three with the Green Bay Packers in Super Bowl 31. Darnell Dockett of Arizona, Super Bowl 43. And Coney Ealy, three sacks for the Panthers against Denver in Super Bowl 50. All those sacks, they've only been an official record since Super Bowl 17. I know it's believed that L.C. Greenwood unofficially had four way back in Super Bowl 10. Wearing those golden high tops as well. It'll be a 48-yard punt. Five there on the return. And the Cards will take over. First and ten. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. And he'll take it ahead to the 28-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Playing as a 3-4 front is really challenging for offensive linemen because they can do so many different things. But when you're running the football, Let's if you can handle Red the fire. nose tackle up front Red and then maybe a guard can slide up to the second level and block a linebacker, that's when you have success running the football. All start offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been Still a little down. discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. The false start hurts him there a bit. Backs him up to second and nine. Flex round! Flex round! Here we go! Right the They'll run it now. Out of the gun. Looking for a crease. Can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Adam Jones, the longtime NFL corner, able to get him down. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. And able to find Decker. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Well, he didn't. Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And he finds a man on the crossing route. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. So they're on that play. Offensively, they ran the crossing route. Defense was in zone coverage, so as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to talk to your other coverage guys and let them know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. A first down throw for Brissett. 
Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Cardinals. In for the score. And the Cardinals are in for six. And there they got him the ball. Just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call. Just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right? RAC. Run after catch. And he loves that. And he's going to carry that in at contract time. And on the return, here comes Adam Jones. And a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Now the Jets offense gets ready to head back on the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They get feel pretty good about that one. Over the middle, complete. That's Fitzgerald. And a quick slant gets exactly ten. And by the nose of the football, they've got a first down. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops go, out. Go. Incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult. to In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Deion Jones, the linebacker. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. How, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball. And I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete. And the tight end, Luke Stocker, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look up to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Here we go! Play action now. Brissett. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. But that looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass. Incomplete. And that is no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap. Good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Good starting position for the Jets as they come up first and ten. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. Yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Up from his linebacker spot, Deion Jones making the play. So nothing there, but maybe you blame that on the blocking. Yeah, at some point, you've got to win at the point of attack. And on that play, that was all the defense. They made it happen. To throw on second down, Rodgers. Fitzgerald's got it right side. now here on EA Sports. It's Jet football, but they trail here as we start the fourth quarter. Rodgers now perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. And Green's got it over the middle. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. 
Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. To throw, it's Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Rodgers to throw on second down. Being chased out left. What can't Aaron Rodgers do? The legwork there getting him the first. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting go himself, ahead, go, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking ah. shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays and the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. They'll try and get it home to Sherman, the fullback. Fighting his way in for a Jets touchdown. Anthony Sherman punching it in from a yard away. And the Jets have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. And when the smaller guy can't power it across the goal line, Charles, sometimes you need to go with a fullback. They did. It worked. What's that thing about force and mass? How's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Force equals mass times acceleration. Oh, that's big time stuff. That's, that's from the same guy. The apple dropped on his head, right? <laughs> so that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Come on, let's go! One, nine, five. On first and ten, Brissett. And it's intercepted. Picked off by Brent Grimes. And he's going to get this on down to the 13-yard line. you got to know as a quarterback, it's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. A great play there. 13-yard touchdown run. And the Jets capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Elliott Good with a PAT. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Morstead, the punter, out to kick it off. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Here comes the field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. With his guys trailing here in the fourth, he can ill afford a repeat of the interception that ended the last drive. Yeah, your team scores down. You take it upon yourself now to play perfect and near perfect football if you want to get your team back into the game. But it's also tough to do when you're trying to avoid errors, yet still play perfect football. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Hey, let's go! One, nine, one, uh -huh. nine, uh -huh. Play fake. Brissette. On the crossing <laughs> route, complete. That's Decker. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. Give him 30 yards there. Boy, the evolution of the game and how these guys on plays like that can get out of the pocket, keep plays alive. It just makes things so much harder for defenses. It really does. And we're talking about an era in the game 
where the quarterbacks are the most athletically gifted that we've seen in the bunch. I mean, we talk about collectively, it's unbelievable. So their ability to move is practice now. It's not necessarily, oh, he just took off and you guys figure it out. When he takes off, everyone knows where to go now. They know how to run routes, change things, make themselves presentable for the quarterback. It's a lot of time that they put in on it. It's not just your static one, two, three. This is where the ball goes anymore. Now Brissett. Trevor's running back, and he's got him complete. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this will be coming back. Offense. Umpire through the flag usually Still always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpire's got different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Here's Brissett. That's in Joku over the middle. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. He's got his tight end in Joku. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. Had a first down on that last catch as well. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get the third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Six yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Time for a break. We're back to crown a champion after this. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Come on, let's go. Again, it's Brissett. And he takes it inside the 10 to the 8 before he's out of bounds. A five-yard gain, and now they're set up first and goal. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to like the play calling because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and then... And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. Billy before pass, offense. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Let's go! Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Throwing. Reset. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. Here's Brissett. And that would incomplete as it breaks a string of eight straight pass completions. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And Gold is able to put it through. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, if I'm playing field position with all three timeouts, I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. And the Jets set to take the field. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is 
is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Jets on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This is third and ten. Rodgers to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. The Jets with victory seemingly in hand. They take a knee. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bout. That is likely the final play of this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the New York Jets have won the Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy will be in the Big Apple. And when this moment comes, I think you look back at all the blood, sweat, and tears, the offseason, the workouts, training camp, week one, two, three, all building up now to say you're a Super Bowl champion. It's worth it. It certainly is, and rarely... Do we have a team that hoists the Lombardi Trophy? They didn't have their share of bumps along the way. Didn't have to face some adversity in the journey. And now they get to just enjoy it and revel in it. And all off season, they'll be signing their autographs with Super Bowl champion underneath it. just how everybody wants to end the year holding the Lombardi Trophy what a season for them what a ride it's been for us as well here in the booth for Charles Davis and our entire crew I'm Brandon Gunn thanks for watching everybody we will see you next season right here on EA Sports Thicker the thicker the thicker the plot, thicker the plot, thicker the bag. Meet him a bite and I lease him a beamer.